As we look at, you know, the economic environment that we're in, I mean, it's, it's a strange time because on the one hand, uh, you know, keep talking about recession, 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 and yet all of our clients are really still very busy. I mean, there's, there's backlogs mm -hmm. and, and all of this, but it would seem to me that, you know, certainly the, the higher cost of borrowing uh, development mm -hmm. and, and now starting to see some pretty significant fissures in the, uh, in the commercial yep. building space. H how do you see that playing out for you guys over the next six to 12 months? I know it's kind of hard to have the crystal ball, but what are some of the things that you guys are doing to try to prepare for that? Yeah, well, I think two parts to your <laughs> question. One is about cult financing, interest rates and things mm -hmm. like that. Um, and that's been going since probably last summer, mm -hmm. really started. Yep. Uh, and it was interesting that the hike in interest rates uh, didn't have as big of an impact. Mm -hmm. um, I, it had an impact, don't yeah, get me wrong. Sure. The biggest thing was when they just, when banks slowly stopped funding, yeah. no matter what the interest rate was. Right. Even mm -hmm. if somebody was willing to pay for it, just the they just said, no, dried up. don't yep. have it. Mm -hmm. Not gonna, can't give it out, have mm -hmm. to have reserves. Yep all kinds of reasons, mm -hmm. um, but we're just not gonna lend it. Mm -hmm. So then it became not even about, oh, it just cost more. It's, it's can't just not it. even there, yeah. it's just not even there. And that's mm -hmm. kind of where we are now, mm -hmm. where for definitely the um, fundamental developer and traditional means of financing things just are almost 100% dried up. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty scary to see. Yep. There's some other ways to get money and stuff, but it's pretty creative, mm -hmm. larger institutional, uh, and then does cost more, yeah. right? Right. <laughs> uh, for sure. But uh, that has played the biggest impact on us in slowing projects mm -hmm. down, um, mm -hmm. the project starts. So we've had a number get put on hold in that. Um, so the other part of your question is how do you, how do we, okay, well, what do we do? Navigate it, yeah. <laughs> what do we right. do? And really that comes from, I would say, started really back in 2008. Mm -hmm. Kind of go back that 15 yep. years ago. We yep. all know that big financial crisis right. and hopefully it's different than this one, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully this one is a lot different than that, shorter, not as deep, all those things. Yeah. But at that time taught us that um, we were diversified in a lot of different product types that we built mm -hmm. and things. And we had, um, back in 2005, started doing multifamily construction. So added kind of a market sector yep. to that, yep. which, which helped coming out of that recession, the great mm -hmm. recession. Um, so it, what we started in 2008 was to diversify even more so, mm -hmm. not just in product type, but in the way, um, client different clients um get get money and so right. we started doing more what we call user group institutional work mm -hmm. more private education mm -hmm. type work right. uh we uh more health care mm -hmm. uh, put a st big strategic initiative over the last 15 years to do a mm -hmm. lot more health care work we yep. had always done a little bit yep. but put somebody at, at the lead yep um um, went through a couple of people as that lead and then Lee Watkins, my partner mm -hmm. now, sure. yep. uh, brought him in um, back early on in that period and he has grown that business mm -hmm. uh, as well as whether it's multifamily and then multifamily combining with healthcare and senior living, assisted living, yep. Yep. Uh, memory care. There's a little right. bit of overlap sure. there and, the, and things like that with the clients. So starting back then was to diversify. So how do we mm -hmm. get through this? Whatever is upcoming yep. um, has been to be diversified. And so when we look at our backlog going forward over the next 12 and even 24 months, the majority of that work are things from that yes. diversification. That's right. Uh, a lot of healthcare, behavioral mm -hmm. health, yep. uh, senior living, things yep. like that. Things that we didn't do 15 years ago mm -hmm. and that we started from yep. then.